Well, it's about 10 o'clock. Hot, sunny Friday. I had a fella just knocked on my door, brought me a lawnmower blade. Got to get it cleaned up and sharpened for him. A, he lives down the street. And I got to pick up some pruners and maybe lopers. I'm not sure which. From another guy in a few minutes. That's about all I'm going to... I know about today as far as blades go. Then we're headed back to the land of Nada. I'll get back to you. Well, a guy just dropped off the lopers and the scissors. The mumbles man is on his way to pick me. Kind of looks just like yesterday. Great balls of fire. Just as many people. Might be a shade rougher than it was yesterday. Slope looks worse. But we're going to hunt the slope today. Yeah, big slope. Yeah, it don't seem much different than yesterday. Hey, go ahead. I don't know. I was thinking that same thing. Maybe we'll go down there to the to the turns and come back. Yeah. than yesterday but not much I'm working along right through here it is a few feet above solid three and four Ring. Close your ear. Make your ear bigger. See what the mumble man's got over here. Earlobe ring. That's a big one there. Yeah. He got a CTX today, left lit Knox home. Probably if he's a bullet. Flash ring. Class ring looks like. Huh? Class ring, ain't it? Maybe. Yeah, class ring. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 58, is that what it says? 85. Good. Right wave comes along. Cell phone number two, three, four. It's just waiting to happen. I want almost got her. Be the next one. Almost man's guy this time. Oh, 
What's that right there? little drop off right here a slew like kind of deep wasn't here yesterday Third Street, I think. We're turning it around now. We're not going up to the fight. How you making up, my old man? I got a couple quarters, a dime. I got one dime, no quarters, no pennies. No, I do have one penny. You going back? I'm going to hunt back a little deeper. For a while, anyway. A lot of depositors right inside the break there, you see them?
they just closed it. I thought something was just I'm the only one down here. <laughs> Hello? 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 We'll never get to the wash station today. Station washing is piled up. We just have to go to the truck with the sand on us. Got some water in the truck, maybe we'll wash off with that. Close a beach, I can't believe it. First time this year so far. It's a bad looking storm right over there though. Might get blowed out the market tomorrow too. They're talking about the same thing. Rain all day tomorrow. Maybe Sunday, but I don't have a market on Sunday. We'll see how that goes tomorrow. I'll get back to you. We're about 10 minutes from my house. And the rain is just starting to hit the windshield. I don't think you can see it, but it'll be raining harder in a minute, I guess. It's a 3.33, tides low in about an hour. Well, we missed it. We're going to miss the best of it. But we know where there's a fat 24 karat gold band missing. If we can find it, lost in the water deep. Indian, 24K. Back to Nada tomorrow. Denny's ring is a 1985 10K class ring, Jostens 10K. I don't think it's a local ring. You'll have a picture of it later, later when he sends it to me. Got a nice purple stone in it, though. I like it. I don't know. It says 96 on one side and 85 on the other side. I don't make any sense. What does that mean? I don't know. I've never seen one like that. It says 85 right there. And it says 96 on that side. So I don't know what that means. It's older. It's got the name of the school kind of around it, but it's, it's been worn a long time. You can't make it out. At least not in the truck here. It says uh, Magna. Well, I can't make it out either. Magna Cum Laude or something like that? I don't know. It's got a little crack right at the bottom of it. It's worn kind of thin, you know? Okay. Now the liquid sunshine is coming down a little heavier. Five minutes from my house. Any of you GoPro people, I'm going to put a picture at the end of the black videos that I had yesterday. I think I was four or five. When I use iMovie to download them to the computer. When I preview them on the camera, they don't show up. It's when I take the SD card out of the GoPro, stick it in the scan disk thing, and stick it in my computer to upload it on iMovie, that's when they show up. There was four or five yesterday. They just, but I did, you know, sort of preview it and I deleted them, which I forgot to do the day before. Some weird thing going on with this camera. Works perfect most of the time, but I don't know. Looks like Pearl Harbor, don't it? Look at them aircraft carriers over there. That's Norfolk Naval Station. I'm on the tunnel. We're headed to Hampton to eat dinner with some friends of Chris's in a little place called the Gray Goose. But the traffic is horrible, which I knew it would be on Friday afternoon. It's always like this on Friday afternoon. It's like being in Los Angeles. Trying to get home. Now you remember from your history lessons that we had a couple years ago 
when we were hunting over this area, when we would go through the, the tunnel here, some of you newer people that haven't been following me too long, just up here on the right is Fort Wool. It's an old fort that was built, I guess, before the Civil War to protect the inner harbor. It had big old cannons on it and everything. And uh, when they arrest or when they got Jefferson Davis, the president of the Confederacy, is where they put him in prison at, at this fort. I noticed some nice relics around it, but you can't get to it. It's a national park now, and you can't get to it except by a boat. And they used to take a boat for a cruise, but I think they may have stopped doing that now. But if they didn't, it would be a cool place to go. I never have been. There's a tower on top of it. There's a flag. That's a lookout, isn't it? I don't think you'll be able to see the dock, but that's the dock right there where the tour boat used to come into. I'm getting ready to go in the tunnel now, so I'll see y'all in a little while. I believe I've seen everything now. I don't know if we get close enough to see her, but that girl on the back of that motorcycle right there has her cell phone in her left hand. I know we won't find this one, but if she was to drop it, it would be roadkill. Why you put your hand, carry your foot? Look, can you see it? It's in her left hand right there. <laughs> I'll be damned. They're at the beach flying them in the waves, and they're riding down the road in a motorcycle holding on to their camera. You got to have your camera. I mean, your phone. You can't live without it. Electronics. Now we had a big marina in Norfolk. Chris's son is a dock master here. And the city of Norfolk is having their fireworks show tonight at nine o'clock. Chris's son David has a big, I think it's a 70 vintage, 48 foot Hatteras fishing boat that he's been restoring. We're getting ready to go out on it and watch the fireworks. Stand by. I don't know what y'all know about boats, but that one right there is a nice one. Nice boat, made in New England. There's the Little Creek Amphibious Base. We're going up! It's a landing craft. Put you on the beach.
that's a Coast Guard cutter on the left, and I don't know what that big black boat is. H, what does it say? HOS Max. How about that? She's got a tall pilot house, big and tall bow. You can kind of tell by the size of the Coast Guard cutter next to it. I'm going to guess and say the Coast Guard footer is about 120 foot. Or a little longer, maybe. I don't know what this other ticket is, but she's big. Some houses over here, some condominiums. Right on the Blue uh, Creek. David says no barge. They're going to push them off the fireworks from the beach. Same as last year. I didn't know that. Juniors. We got about a half hour to go. Okay, things ought to be hopping here in a second. see the boats scattered along next to us with the red lights and green lights for the anchor up. The police boat is in shore flashing his lights. It'll be blast off here in a couple minutes or less. Uh, the crowd is screaming. 
on the beach. We got fireworks going all over there. That's a different area. We got fireworks going off in Hampton, where we were tonight, back there. Fireworks all around us. We got a crescent moon. I don't know if you can see that or not. You should be able to see it. Come on, boys, let's go. I have to get back to you. Can you believe it? Not too bad. For 45 minutes maybe we had there, or less. Gauge ring. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. I hope to get in a spin after the night gig. <laughs>